Hello guys, in this video, I will show you how to take apart the Nvidia Shield Pro 2019 and replace the thermal paste to restore its original performance. The Nvidia Shield is an excellent media streaming box. However, performance tends to degrade after a few years of use due to the thermal compound between the processor and the heatsink hardening over time. For optimal performance, it is good to replace the thermal compound every 2-3 to three years. Today, we will be working on the 2019 model of the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. To open up the shield, we first need to remove two Phillips screws from the side of the unit. We then need to slide the top and bottom covers like so to release the clips. After opening up the shield, the next step is removing the logic board by taking out the six stock screws and carefully disconnecting the antenna and fan cables. The screws securing the logic board to the heatsink are unique. Take note of them. Remove the logic board by carefully sliding it towards the fan and lifting it out. Flipping the board over, we can now see the Tegra processor with grey thermal compound. The thermal compound on my unit is not completely hardened up since I replaced it less than 2 years ago. I am doing this video to help others who may not know how to go about this. So please consider subscribing to support the channel. To prepare for application of new thermal compound, we will first need to remove the old thermal paste from both the heatsink and the processor. I first wiped them using a paper towel followed by cleaning using a cotton swab dipped in isopropyl alcohol. The fan was pretty dusty as well and overdue for some cleaning. I needed to first get it out by removing three Torx screws. I used an old toothbrush to loosen the dust and then blew it clean. After wiping dust from the bottom cover as well, I returned this contact plate and then installed the fan. My OCD made me use a microfiber cloth to ensure that the processor was free of particles from the paper towels. I personally prefer the Arctic MX4 thermal paste since it has a long service life compared to other brands. Proceed to apply a pea sized amount of the thermal paste like so. Be careful not to apply too much as a thick thermal paste layer will actually harm heat transfer from the processor to the heatsink. Before we install the logic board, we need to first put back the heatsink. The heatsink should be oriented such a way that the screw hole farthest from the edge is on the left.
While inserting the board, be careful not to touch the paste or let it get into contact with other components. Otherwise, it will be a messy situation. Don't forget to reattach the antenna and fan cables. It's now time to slide back the top cover the same way we removed it. It will require a little bit of force to get the clips locked in place. We'll finish off by putting back the two Phillips screws. And that's it. We have successfully repasted the shield and performance should now be restored due to better temperatures. A quick check on the monitor confirms that we damaged nothing and the shield boots up as usual. I hope you find this tutorial useful in restoring performance to your shield. Please consider liking and subscribing. Happy streaming!